Stay tuned to see how I created these textured bottles and bubble vases. First, I'm beginning by using these shells that I got from the Dollar Tree to hot glue them to this bottle. A little bit of hot glue will go a long way and you can glue the shells onto the bottle in any pattern that you like. For this one, I decided to just do straight rows down the sides of the bottles using the shells. This is actually an old kombucha bottle that I thought was really pretty and that's why I decided to utilize this glass bottle. Take your time gluing the shells onto the bottle in the pattern that you decide and you keep going until you have reached the other side of the bottle. I tried to use E6000, but it did not work at all. For this bottle, I was going to use these smaller shells, but I ended up using the big round ones. And I did a different pattern on this bottle. These were a little bit, a little bit bigger, so I just did a couple of rows going around the bottom and then just a few random ones a little bit higher on top. Again, hot glue is the way to go because E6000 does not work. And this is me just adding a few along the top neck of the bottle. Then for the bubble vases, I'm using these faux pearls. I'm actually going to be using two different sizes of the faux pearls to glue them onto the bubble vase. The reason why I think that the E6000 didn't work is that it takes time for the glue to set. And with these bottles being shaped and not just flat, it just was not going to stay they would slide down and it didn't allow for it to dry so you just continue to go with this one until you've reached all around the bottle vase these are the ones that I'm using for the second bubble vase these are a little bit smaller and this is the pattern that I chose for this one but feel free to customize your design as you see fit it's completely up to you how you add your pearls. Next, you're gonna take everything outside and spray paint it. I used my trigger on my spray paint cans because it adds for a smoother coat of paint. And then for the bubble bases, I decided to do one black and one white just to see which one I liked best. In my opinion, the white came out a little bit better only because it ended up being textured and it added like a little bit of a grit to the outside of the vase. Take your time when doing this, letting it dry in between coats. And here are what the shell bottles look like once they are fully dry. I think they are really interesting and will be a great conversational piece if you have these around your home and they're extremely different and here is what the bubble vases look like once they're done see how the black one is super smooth and shiny and the white one has a little bit of grit to it this is how I decided to style my bubble vases and my textured bottles. They are so cute. I used one to hold my wax melt cubes and then the other I just put some tissue paper in it 
because I didn't have anything else to put inside and then the bottles I'm using them to hold the different scents of my mini incense thank you for joining me for another video this week I really enjoy creating these textured bottles and bubble faces I'm trying to reuse items that I have around my house as to not create a lot of waste so leave me any suggestions or tips down in the comments below also make sure you turn on the bell for notifications for when I post new videos subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend wherever you are and whatever you're doing I do hope that you're having a great day and always keep creating all right. I love you guys. Bye.